So the first new feature of Table of Contents is this TOC link feature. And it's actually a backlink to the Table of Contents. So let me show you how that works first. Uh, so here I have this Table of Contents created. And if I just click on one of these uh, links to go to that specific sheet, you'll see here in cell B3 that there's now a link back to the Table of Contents sheet. So if I click that link, that'll take me back to the Table of Contents sheet. And I can now click on another one of my sheets and this east sheet also has a link back to the table of contents. So this makes it really nice for your users to be able to navigate quickly through your workbook. So let me show you how to add that uh, backlink. In this particular workbook, I cleared out all those links I just showed you, so we're starting fresh. And what I'm going to do is first click the table of contents button and that'll allow me to create a table of contents and I'm going to make sure that this check mark is checked um, and that'll create the backlinks. So I'm going to hit the create update button and now you'll notice at the bottom of the table of contents there's this table of contents link and that's basically all that's been added when we check that option. The sheets themselves in the workbook do not contain that table of contents link yet. Uh, basically, we're just going to copy and paste it into each of these sheets. So you can choose which sheets you want to have that backlink um, available on. So to do that, basically, I'm just going to left click and hold on this cell here until the uh, icon turns into cell selection. And that'll select that cell. And then I'm going to hit Control C to copy that. And then I can just go over here to my total sales sheet and paste that link right there. So now this cell B3 on the sheet contains this link back to the table of contents. And if you, you want to then make this process a little faster, you can copy that and basically paste it to all the sheets in your workbook as long as those sheets have the same structure. So I know, for example, that my north, south, east, and west sheets here all have the same basic structure and cell B3 is empty, so I can paste that table of contents uh, link in cell B3. And so all I need to do is then select all those sheets and paste the link right there. And you can select multiple sheets pretty easily using Tab Hound. Um, I can just go here, open the Tab Hound window. And if I just left click and drag down, that'll select all the sheets in the list here that I wanna apply that link to. And then I'm gonna click the Select Sheets button and that'll select those sheets. You can see they're all selected and then close the tab hound window. And now all I need to do is paste that link right there in cell B3. And now all these sheets will have um, the table of contents link in cell B3. So now if I just click that, that'll take me back to the table of contents. And now I can quickly navigate through this workbook, just going from each sheet on the table of, that's listed on the table of contents jump right over to that and then jump back to the table of contents as needed. So again, it's just a very fast way for your users to be able to navigate through your workbook. And once you're done pasting those links, uh, you can just select the table of contents link here, that cell, and delete the, the contents out of it. And that'll delete that table of contents link So because you, you don't need that on the table of contents sheet.